A police dog? Hey doggy. So we're going to try today to continue where we finished off at Whitney Court Gardens. The episode where I lost the plot and everything failed on me. So that was not a good morning. That day my phone, that kept failing. Sat nav was switching off. Uh, I got to the venue and the battery had dropped. So what I'd found is there was a problem with the battery on my iPhone. Um, the iPhone's going in today to have the battery done at a uh, Apple store. And what was happening is the battery charged at 100%, it'll last for a couple of minutes, dropped to 70%, dropped to 60 and then all of a sudden it jumps to about 21% if I remember. Bang, straight down to 1% and that's it. Found out enough, shut off. So, that was a complete write-off that Saturday was. So, I've arranged with Steve today. He's got his Drift Ghost X camera. And he's got his Cardo Pack Talk. So for Steve, this is the first time you're going to hear Steve's voice whilst riding. He's not been on mic before. And also, it's the first time for him using an intercom. Um, so, that'll be something new for him. A little bit strange to hear it first when you very first use one, but he'll, he'll soon pick it up. He'll get there. Because he says a lot of the times when we were out on a ride, he could see me and Rich obviously gesturing to each other and and all this bit when you're talking, moving your hands. He says that it's not until he watches the footage back, he gets to see what we was going on about. See, because sometimes like, he watches it and he's wondering, like thinking, what, 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 they, what they're doing? What they're going on about? So at least now, he can be part of it. Uh, Matt as well, he's got his Cardo Pack Talk. So when we go out now, all four of us, we can join in a conversation. Where previously we couldn't. Uh, it's quite a quite windy today. Oh, it's blowing all over the place. I'm literally fighting the bike. Yeah, so anyhow, I broke the microphone connector. What connects the mic to the drift? Uh, I didn't know this on the last video until I got home and edited it. Um, so anyhow, spoke to drift, got myself a new cable, and you might have saw the video I put up yesterday. This cable is amazing. So I've got the normal connector into the mic. Oh, let's just get past this car. So I've got the normal connector going into the camera for the mic, but then there's also the second lead, what runs to a USB. So I can now have a USB, uh, a USB, uh, a power bank with me while I'm on the bike. So I don't have to worry about if I'm out five, six hours, if the battery's going to go flat on the camera. The only thing I need to worry about now is, is my memory card going to last long enough? So I am well happy with that. And as you said, that's a bit of a um, a bit of a trick. What GoPro has missed on. But then again, I suppose the drift cameras are designed for cyclists, motorcycling, and that is the intention for them. Whereas GoPros are not specifically designed for us moto vloggers. It is designed as an action camera in general. So their concern, well not their concern, I'd imagine the most people, apart from motor vloggers who, who use the cameras, are uh, doing skiing, snowboarding, so they're probably, you know, they're probably not going to be doing four or five hours in one go. Of us motor vloggers, is we, that's what we need. We need to be able to cover hours of footage. But no, I am a drift man. Yes, I've got this GoPro session, which I use forward facing, and that was that was because that was just the very first camera I bought. It's something I won't be buying again in the future. I will not invest my money in the GoPro products. I'm more than happy with this drift and the the capability of it. And the quality of the video is 
it's perfect for me I'm happy with it I said it's a 4k camera I only use it in 1080p and 60 frames per second I do not have the camera has stabilization on it I switch that off I don't want that on I'm trying to make a video through my eyes uh, of me on the bike so I want to try and give that experience of what it actually looks like on the bike yep you go around the corner you go over a bump you do a bit of speed you are going to get a bit of shaking and a bit of vibration I want to capture that uh, the stabilization obviously can sort that out and give you your perfect footage but it's quite a bit fake the footage is because that's not really what it's like when you're on a bike things are not that smooth I know the new GoPro 7 stabilization on that is I mean I've got to say it's fantastic the stabilization to me it looks a bit artificial when you watch footage of it you get kind of no perception of angle or terrain I don't know it's just not such a me. yet it gives you perfect footage and I suppose our aim is to try and get the best footage we can for people to view but I don't know it just seems a bit a bit artificial to me I'm not that keen I say stick with drift go with what it's designed for stop buying GoPros so yep yeah, my new lead I'm happy with my new lead go and get one guys go and get one before they sell out I mean I put that video up yesterday showing it uh, I mean I, I'm not I don't even know if this is an a brand new cable just have started doing on I haven't I haven't quite noticed it before on the site so maybe it is new if anybody knows drift if you are watching this if you want to leave us a comment in the video if it is new a brilliant idea and so far the comments I've been having in the previous video um, and some of the messages people have sent through to me a lot of people are saying the same that you know oh that looks good I'm gonna get one I'm gonna get one never knew that before so it, I think it might it, it might be a new cable because people don't seem to know about it something so simple of put your USB charger in with your mic lead simple 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 £9.99 for the cable and now I'm sorted I haven't got to fill my top box now with 47 GoPro batteries because I want to film for 20 minutes I'll just bring me drift and I've got hours and hours right we're going to go and meet Stevie boy he's coming out with us today let's go and see this Ripley Court Gardens for the second time and let's try and get the drone up a bit windy today but we might be able to get it up morning Hi. Hi. Ah. Okay. It's recording now. It's working now, I think. Yeah. Hopefully you might hear something. <laughs> oh, don't put me earplugs in. I can hear you now, I can hear me as well. God, that sounded weird when you spoke. Say it again. Hello. Oh, there's, there's a bit of a delay. The weird thing on these though, when you don't talk, they're completely cut out. Why, and just go quiet? Yeah, so you don't pick up wind noise, and you keep thinking it's disconnected. Yeah. Well, the other one, that's cheaper. When Rich was wrong, he's not going to hear the window, he's coming for the market. <laughs> oh well, I'll have to do without earplugs in. That's it, cameras on. Let's hope we have a better morning this morning recording. Fingers crossed. Right. Oh, I need a dump. Oh, I I'll it bake before. it till I get home. Yeah, I emptied it before I come out. I've already had one. <laughs> Was the first one just the primer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just empty out the bulk. 
Right, so today we've got Richie's Satnav as well. So let's see how this works, let's get the postcode. And it's supposed to. It's supposed to come on when I put the ignition on. I can't hear you now. I can't hear you. Hear me now? No. no. I can hear you. I can't hear you at all. Hello? 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 Oh yeah, that's better. I'll tell you what, the volume button goes the wrong way. Yeah. You roll it forward. It's full louder. Did you, pre did you press record on your camera? Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, because I think when I edit your voice, I don't think I'll have to do anything to the EQ. Because yeah. your sounds a lot like Richie's. It's like, it's got like all the tones there. When I don't mind. Turn that much bass off in mine. <laughs> <laughs> if I leave mine natural, I sound like <laughs> Darth Vader, I do. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's. I'm getting a bit of that. I, what I need to do is actually stick the um, the headphone bits into the uh, crash room. I've yeah. only wedged them in there so far. I've noticed a big difference over the earplugs instead. Yeah, well they cut out all the yeah. noise anyway, don't they? the sat nav as well. Do you want to put your earplugs in here? Yeah, yeah. I've changed the little logo on the Tom Tom as well to a Formula One car <laughs> <laughs> instead of an arrow. <sighs> yeah, I should have put my earplugs in. Yeah, because on these you can have music on and as soon as you start talking, the music drops. Yeah, oh, that's right, that's a yeah. good idea. Yeah, that's better now, I can't hear any wind noise. You'll see these travellers here, proper old travellers. Oh yeah, yeah. I, th I think that was here for about a year. Good deal. Yeah, you can see where the horses have had everything. Yeah. Proper old gypsy yeah. caravans. Some down here as well. Yeah, they're everywhere. I think they come back every year there. They always seem to be on that same spot. Yeah. They obviously aren't bothered by the, uh, the road noise, are they? Have you tested your horn? Yeah, yeah, I've done it. Yeah. I had to oh. for the MOT. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, um, yeah, it's broken about a millimetre behind the hook, behind the horn connector, so you couldn't cut it off and then well, and solder in some new wires. So I had to buy a new bloody loom from. I think the only place I found one was in BMW in Plymouth. <coughs> Excuse me. How much was a loom? Sixteen quid. <laughs> All it was is a little connector that goes on the horn. The horn, the well, the pins are reset, so you can't even like solder the wires to them. So. I cut the um, cut the wires off, soldered them together, put some more insulation on them to stop them breaking again in the future, and then uh, works a treat now. Past the uh -huh. MOT, no problem at all. New chain and sprockets is all good. 
So I think I did um, I did crimp up the uh, crimp the link up a bit too tight. So I bought a spare link just in case. If it gets a tight spot, I can always change the uh, yeah. the rivet link. Oh look, speed camera. Oh, speed camera. <laughs> Let's hope they ain't got forward-facing cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, oh, well, we're, not, we're not speeding, so they can't do us. <laughs> Rich sent me the footage of him doing his uh, Oxford grips. Oh yeah, yeah. And he said, see, you know, see if there's a difference on there you can use. Oh, the stuff he comes out with. <laughs> but he he, mum, he mumbles a lot as well. So like I said some of the phrases he comes out with when he's having, you know, when he's having a go at himself about something. Yeah. <coughs> He's funny, he cracks me up. He's just comedy, isn't he? I still, it still creases me up watching that video about the, uh, about the prostate check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get on me desk. <laughs> Get on me bed. <laughs> right, you're okay after the black car, the last car. That's right, I'm out already. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> Took me chance. Here we are for round two. <clears throat> well, now, you go to Whitley Church or Whitley Court? Is it no, straight on? The church is in the Whitley Court. Oh, you're going... To, yeah, I see what you mean. That's it. We do a bit of um, adventure two in here. Let's off-road. It's just a proper off-roading. Pontol City. That's just like driving in Birmingham, this is. <laughs> <laughs> With less potholes. I say now, I don't think I've washed mine since we went to Wales last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I went for the MOT, I gave it a wipe down with baby wipes. <laughs> just to make it look like I actually looked after it. I say every time Rich goes out on it, he gives it like, it has like a full valet. I know. Takes the engine out, polishes the frame. Get the hoover out. <laughs> I didn't realise you could drive right up to it. Mega. Is it English Heritage? I think I'll get a discount of English Heritage. Not that I'm going to go in, but... Right. Let's try again. Uh. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice looking place, isn't it? Nice little duck pond as well. Right, let's switch this off for a minute.
So today was a bit more successful. We managed to get the drone up. We had a bit of rain. The sun came out. Um, we did get the drone up, but it was, um, I mean, as you can see, how fast the clouds are moving. It was throwing the drone all over the place. I mean, I did, I wanted to fly between those pillars, but I think with the wind, if it would, the wind would have took it and it hit the wall, as you can see, the place is locked up. There's no way I can get in to get the drone. But it was a success to a degree. We might be able to make something out of the footage. Bit of blue sky. And we're done. Yep, fine. We're done. Steve's new screen. That is well thick, that is, isn't it? I oh, know it is, isn't it? Am I recording? Yep, turn around. Yeah, turn around the other way now. Let me see the front. See if the red light's flashing. Yep, that's on. Sound. God help me, when all four of us got the cameras on, I've got to edit all this together. <laughs> yeah. And then all the audio. I'll keep you busy. Oh no. Right then. Bloody everything's filthy. Let's turn this round. <laughs> well, Whitney Court, we finally got you in the end. Until next time. You ready for a bit of adventure riding? Yeah, let's That's off good. road. Has, has yours got a fuel gauge? No, it's got an indicator when it gets nearly empty, but there's still a good 40 50 miles in it when it gets yeah. to there anyway. I mean, it Watch. should be good for about 170 miles on the tank, I think. Yeah, easy. My indication is the engine starts spluttering as it runs out. Yeah. <laughs> but saying that, though, I've got the reserve tap. Yeah, I've got no reserve on mine. Ah, so I think, I think, I, I think in the book, I'm pretty sure it says there's a, you've got about 20 miles in the reserve. So I know we've a fat lot. Yeah, well, when we're in Wales, we just make sure that we um, yeah. fill up plenty. Well, all I do, I'll just use my speedo. I'll just keep reset it every time I fuel it. Yeah. Right, I get to about 100 miles then, back fuel in. Right, here we go. Oosh, 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 oosh. I know my suspension definitely wasn't intended for this. God, everything is going to need a wash when we get back. I'll wash it when I come back after my 400 mile trip. <laughs> yeah. Pick up drop off journey. <laughs> Willie. Yeah, I'm sure this is where Rich was born. Little Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Little tiddler. Oh, it's lovely now. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Nice bit of sun. Just hope we get this in Snowdonia. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fantastic. Which, I mean, to be honest with you, we normally do get pretty good weather, don't we, mate? Yeah, it should be. Well, Goose, you certainly have worked. Spot on. I've changed your icon to a, a little racing car instead of an arrow. You muppet. But yeah, that was a brilliant when we went over them Shropshire Hills. Yeah. Oh, it was an amazing well, I, day that was, the weather. I know. I haven't watched all the video yet. I still yeah. need to sit down and watch it all. Yeah, there was no wind and it was quite warm. It was like, it was like I said, it was in like about June, July. It was a brilliant day. Yeah, well we walked up there, obviously the week before you went, 
And it's a hell of a slog up there. I mean, we yeah, only did about five miles, but most of it was up. Well, half of it was up. The rest of it was down. But yeah, it was a, um, it's a we'll nice walk up We'll have there. to do that one Saturday go up there for the day. Yeah. Well, it's only bloody 45 minutes away, isn't it? See if our mate's here with the speed camera. Do what, sorry? See if the speed camera's still oh, here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't want you to get your number plate on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be good to try those sinister terrains, wouldn't they? One, two, oh, five. yeah, they'd be ace there, will we? Yeah. Because you could just, yeah, as you said, you could, you could just thrash the air out of them. But they look like, they look like this bike, but of yeah. the, um, well, they're probably about the same sort of size, just a smaller engine. Yeah, they're not, they're not bad, do they for little one, two, five? I bet you can have oh, some yeah. fun on them. Well, to be honest, the speeds that we're doing, like when we go around Wales, yeah. you don't need to go fast. As I said, yeah. I mean, most of the roads are around there, and it's said the most you could probably get to is 50 yeah. miles an hour. Well, and all we've got to carry is like sleeping bag and a tent, even if we just yeah. go out for a uh, for a night. Yeah, if you just, as I said, if you just do it for one night. Oh, I wonder what time we're on. You're pulling in here? Yeah, it can do. Oh, it is the time. What time is uh, it? 20 past 10. Oh. oh, I should be alright for fuel. I should be good. Yeah, and no, I'll be alright. I'll fill up next time we go out. Yep. Yeah. Right then. Right, have a good rest of the day. Taxi yeah. about. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back online about 9 o'clock tonight yeah, when yeah. I'm finished. That'll keep you busy anyway, so. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh no. Sound. Oh. Alright, I'll get back and have some breakfast. Oh, okay. Alright. I'll drop I'll give you I'll, you I'll give you a yeah. shout when I've dropped those files somewhere, yeah? Yeah, no right, problem. Sound. No rush. Right safely, right, see, see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Dude. Right, oh, it's a nice ride out this morning. Out to Whitley Court to uh, for Craig to get the drone up since he uh, flunked out last time. For so the first part of this journey, when I left my house this morning, I was talking away merrily and then realised I hadn't turned the camera on. So there was no footage whatsoever. So it's a bit of a first today for me. First time with the intercom on, which I got for Christmas. And Craig sorted out for me, which my wife bought. So interesting being able to talk to people when you're actually uh, riding around. And then also the first time with a camera on the bike, or certainly camera on the crash helmet anyway. And I can actually uh, give some footage of where we've been and where's we going. So an early start this morning, up at quarter to seven, out the house at half seven. Met Craig at eight, off to Whitney Court, bit of flying, bit of coffee, back for quarter to eleven. Notorious place for speed cameras down here, so take it easy. We're coming down there on my GT380 once and the thing nearly took off over these rumble strips. I thought I was going to die. Well people, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Uh, you can find us on all the usual media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram hopefully we've got some footage out of today we were promised by 
a so-called weather app called the BBC Weather that it was going to be sunny all day. So it has been sunny. Um, we've had a bit of rain. And we've had quite a good blust of wind. So I managed to get the drone up for a bit. Um, didn't want to go too wild in case we lost it. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I just need to pick now where are we going to go next? Where are we going to go next? We need another. We've got Oak House in West Bromwich. We've got Manor House, Wensbury Way, some old buildings. Um, we're also looking at East Knoll Castle in Mulvern. That looks a fantastic castle. But um, if any of you know anywhere local to the Midlands, please leave us a comment. I'll try and get over there and visit it, get the drone up above it, and learn a bit of history about it. I know a little, um, have a little Saturday morning history to us. But for now, peoples, the boat's going away, and I'm having a coffee. So bye for now.